My name's Paul Murgatroyd, I'm with the Lincoln Orienteering Group. Uh, my colleague Liam Harrington also with Lincoln. We're uh, in Pillar Woods tonight, we're going to be taking part in the poacher series, running the long course, and we're just going to do a little bit of warming up. Um, to start off with, some general CV work, uh, some pulse raising activity, gradually uh, increasing the pace and the intensity. We'll do a little bit of um, dynamic stretching after that, and a bit of mobilisa further mobilisation work, and then just a few um, few more uh, activities to increase the pulse a little bit further before we hit the ground running. The reason why we're doing a combination of dynamic stretch, mobility exercise and the CV work combined is to ensure that, well there's two reasons, we're to ensure that we maintain an elevated heart rate and the problem with uh, a traditional warm-up is you tend to do the cardiovascular work and then you do a block of static stretching and what happens during the static stretching is obviously your heart rate is dropping back to normal um, your oxygen transfer rate is going back to resting and you're losing all the benefits of the cardiovascular element of the warm-up so by mixing in a bit of cardiovascular work with a bit of stretching we're keeping um, the body warm, we're keeping the temperature elevated, we're keeping the heart rate up the second reason why we're doing dynamic instead of static is that we're trying to replicate through the stretches the dynamic motion of the sport of orienteering. So in, obviously in the forest, we're moving, running, dodging, uh, dipping, uh, you know, dipping um, through the woods, um, often off balance, and we're putting the body under dynamic pressure rather than static pressure. So we need to make sure that when we do our dynamic stretches that we're stretching the muscles that are prime, the primary movers, so mainly the lower body, so we're working on quads, hamstrings, calf and we're replicating the movements that you would see in orienteering and not doing it statically.